Yo, yeah, I'm here with K7. What's good, bro? You already know, man. It's all green. What's good with you? Shit, just chilling. What you been up to today, bro? Man, today I just uh. I just dropped the mixtape on SoundCloud. It's gonna be on all platforms in a couple days. You know how distro kid is already. And I just came down here to the homie house, you know, chill up and shit. So why don't you tell us about your uh, new tape going on? Yeah, it's called the Seven Tape Volume Two. I dropped the first one, but I didn't drop it on all platforms. I dropped that when I first got out of prison. Then I it led on up to fuck the deal. I ended up going back to jail, taking the deal. That's why I said fuck the deal. Now this one, the Seven Tape Part Two. Just, you know, I just been working hard, man. Been in the studio every day. I got some good features on there and everything. So it kind of went into like the tape. What was your like motivation? The motivation, just, I don't know. Like I didn't really have no motivation. I'm just, basically, I ain't gonna say I had no motivation. I'm just always motivated just to work. I'm, I'm, I got a studio session right after this, you know? That's how motivated I am, working on the next tape already. So was this like a plan or did you just like put random songs together or? Like this was that? a plan this was a plan so you know i had to get a couple features out the way like i've been holding songs for months until i finally get that person that i want on it finally knock it out the way you know so what's your favorite song uh, on tape that you made my favorite song oh it's, it's i'm gonna say it's one or the other it's either it's damn hold on i guess a few of them actually but i'm only gonna say two i'm gonna say I'm gonna say, let him have it with Casey Veggies and QF. And I'm gonna say, on my way now with Ralphie the Plug and Monk. All right. So, and Monk um, what, what kind of made you start taking rap seriously? You know, I've been rapping like since elementary, but I used to be one of them shy rappers, tell people oh, I don't rap, but really I used to be writing little raps down. You know what I'm saying? But what made me start taking it serious is, is like around 2010. That's when I started recording. First ever started recording, then I went to jail after that. And I recorded a mixtape in jail. A whole mixtape in jail called, uh, no, it's called Bars Behind Bars. And I just been full throttle ever since. Like, the feedback I was getting just make me want to keep going, you know? So are you originally from LA? Yeah, I'm originally from LA. South Central, you know, out the 30s. Two thumbs up. You know, two pretty stink team, y'all know the wave. So what, what was like? Uh, what was it like? Kind of like coming up in LA. Like, do you feel like it's kind of hard to get like a buzz? Cause like, I don't know, it's, this... it, it, uh, you gotta have like a, a new sound that nobody never heard. Otherwise, it is gonna be hard because it's so many rappers. Like everybody rapping now. Back then, when I was first started rapping, it wasn't too many rappers. Now everybody rap. You know, and they mama. So it's like you have to have a unique in your own sound. Trying to rap like somebody else ain't gonna do it for you. All right, so what kind of uh, goes into like your music, like when you write? Do you, do I you be like speaking like facts, like what I be going through, like just talking shit. I'm a shit talker. I'm talking shit, or sometimes I be switching it up a little out of tune here and there. But I'm really racing up. Like I don't cap rap. Everything I say is real. That's why if you ever listen to my music, everything I'm saying is real. I don't do no capping, and I just rap about my life or the group life, the homie life, you know, the speak team living life, you know. So how'd you kind of like get involved with uh, the whole Stink Team? Like, did you grow up with them, or how'd yeah, you guys like? From the, you know, I'm, I was there from the start of it. You know, mm -hmm. I'm one of the found the founders of it. Too greedy. It didn't morph into Stink Team. So now it's just Too Greedy Stink Team. When I, when the Stink Team name came, I was in jail. I was there from the start of the Too Greedy. It's a difference. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's the same thing, but it's the, it's the difference. So how'd you how the uh, how that name come about? Like how'd you guys come up oh, with the sync no, team? Like you know who made they, that? The fans came up with that. Like just off the people were like how you we was doing the cheeky things and all that. Mm -hmm. Then the fans just started saying stink team. From what I was told, when I was in jail. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, stink team name came when I was in jail. But from what I was told, that the fans gave it to us. That's what Ketchy said. So who are some of like your biggest like inspirations to rap? Mm biggest inspirations like who is yeah like do you have anyone that kind of nipsey hustle and uh nipsey hustle i like drake but i ain't you know i don't i don't jock flows i just mm -hmm. like they my inspiration i think they are like they're my favorite artists did you like grow up listening to them or like like i've met nipsey a few times i ain't never met drake before but the homies met drake but i ain't never met him personally you know yeah. so uh, what kind of music did you grow up like listening to uh, Drake, Nipsey, even them Odd Futures, uh, 
who else, man? Uh, Pushing T. Uh, so, and when I was young, young, like, you know, 3 6 Mafia and T.I., Fabulous, Lil Wayne, of course, and really that's it. So, how'd you come up with your name, uh, K7? That's like a gang name and it's a rap name combined in one. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just kind of mixed them both in there. It was, like, it was like your street name originally, and then like. Like, my street name, you know, yeah. it was street name, and then it morphed into a rap name. That's why I added the finesse. Yeah. And you know, like K7, you know what I'm saying? The K stand for Kita. And I'm number seven at the Kita Foundation. So that's why I came up with K7, the finesse. So what you know, uh, Kita 7. Kita 7 is short for K7. And you know, I just morphed it into a rap name. Like, What uh, what jeweler did your chain? Huh? What jeweler made uh, the chain? So, you know, Rami, you know what I'm saying? Holocaust on my name. You know how he do it, man. You know how Rami do it. That's a new one, or you've had that one for a while? I had the Tron for a while when mm -hmm. I first got out of jail, but this is a new chain. I had a regular gold one, but I had to get the diamond. You know, it didn't look right, regular gold. You gotta, yeah. you gotta match the Tron. You know, put the diamonds on that motherfucker. So, do you, do you consider yourself kind of like a stylish, kind of flashy guy, or like, or just kind of like basic when you go out? I'm like, I'm like, I mean, sometimes I get flashy, but when I'm bored, I feel like I ain't got nowhere to go. Like a, a regular day, I'm just gonna throw on anything. But if it's time to go out, show, function, or whatever. I'm throwing on the shits. Have you done any uh, performances? Yeah, I did. Like, since I've been out of jail, yes, I, I did like four. What was your? Mom, uh, let me hit that. Oh shit! What was your favorite uh, like performance that you done? My favorite performance was when we when uh, we opened up for Draco at Desto Dub little pop up shop thing. Uh, how was that uh, experience? Like, how was, how that was, was that? fun, you know, it was cool. Like, that was my first time having, like, so many phone lights all in your face and just, you know, being on stage in the, the big crowd. That was the biggest crowd I ever performed in. Four, I ain't gonna say and, but, you know. Do you ever, like, get, like, noticed out in, like, public and stuff? Or? Yeah, like, every Blue Moon, people do be noticing me. Like, oh, K7, ooh. But they be really, a lot of people notice me from my chain. They're like, oh, I see your chain before, man. I just know, you know, I've just been in all these videos are just... Me being around, you know what I'm saying? Because I be everywhere from the IE to to Vegas, everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people know me by my chain more than my name. This is my son right here, right? And this is my bitch ass son right here. He's about, how old are you, son? I'm doing an interview, gang. I'm doing, a, I'm doing an interview. All right, bitch. So, um, if you could like collab with any artist, work with any artist, who would you who would you work with? Out of any like every anybody yeah, like like your favorite artist that you would like do a song. I would want to work with. I would want to work with. Right now, I would want to work with. Or you can you can give me a top three. Top three, I'm gonna say right now, Lil Baby, Drake, and Lil Wayne. If I get any of them three. So how do you do you kind of feel? How do you feel about like the uh, Detroit style and the LA style kind of like? Mixing together right now, like that's I, I like that. Oh God, I like that. Like Detroit coming with their own flavor, and they be talking shit too. And we, you know, the stink team shit talkers too. So we actually fuck with them a little bit. So that's like that's dope. Like you know what I'm saying? Because they talk shit sometimes more than us. You know? Do you notice any like kind of like biting styles from LA people though? Like and they the, have the, been trying to rap like the Detroit people a little yeah. bit. Like I ain't gonna lie, these new people been you know trying to rap like they from Detroit. I have been seeing that a lot lately. So going back to like uh, being out like in public, do you like the spotlight? Like when fans come up to you or? I like, actually do like, like that, you know, because you know, it's like every blue moon. I like, I can't go every day. Just somebody gonna notice me every day. It's like maybe twice a week, somebody might say something to me. Oh, I know you. Uh, and you know, and, and that's really just it. All right, bro. So uh, anything else you want to say to people? You know, go stream my new mixtape. The homie make clothing line, you know, check them out. Gang Fuck we man. days and what's going on gang in this bitch. You know already know Call gang in this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you know who the shooter was. Uh, when's but, the uh when's the rest of the tape releasing on, on all platforms? In like two days from what Distro Kids said. Right. So we'll be right now it's just on SoundCloud. But it was gonna be on all platforms in a couple days. Alright then y'all make sure you go check out K7.